Who are you first? Uh, Derek Merkin. I'm the operations project manager at Beaver Lake with the U.S. Army Corps Engineers Little Rock District. And we're having a hard time making it to all the damage, but there's extensive damage we've heard of the marinas. To... There is. There's. It certainly wasn't the Memorial Day that we hoped. Um, out at the lake, uh, multiple parks suffered significant damage, specifically Horseshoe Bend and Prairie Creek Parks. Um, if it can, I'll go through a quick rundown of, of closed campgrounds. Uh, currently, that's Prairie Creek, Horseshoe Bend, and Rocky Branch. Uh, those areas, please avoid them. Um, there's really a, a bunch of hazard trees still hanging up. Um, as early as this morning or as late as this morning, we still had trees coming down. Um, parks open um, with no electricity or water are Starkey, Lost Bridge North, and Lost Bridge South. And then parks open with electricity and water that are fully available, Dam Site Lake, Dam Site River, Indian Creek, Hickory Creek, and War Eagle. So we kind of have a, a wide range of, of available services across the lake. Um, specifically, uh, uh, Prairie Creek and Horseshoe Bend, those campgrounds will be closed indefinitely. Um, just with the amount of damage that we have in there, it's beyond uh, the capacity of the staff we have out at the lake to clean them up. Um, so it's going to be, be a while before we get those parks back in working order. We hope to have Rocky Branch um, back on site by the end of the week, uh, early next week, um, so that people can come out and camp with us. Yeah, go ahead. Clue up, but what was the cause of the damage? I'm talking about it. Some people say that it's a tornado, but some people say that looks like a hurricane. Some people say that you lands three tornadoes at the same time. Do we have a clue about that? I, I, I don't have any idea on that. I'll, I'll leave it to the National Weather Service to, uh, to make an official uh, decision on, on what exactly caused the damage. All I know is, is that there was extensive damage. And really want to thank our, our park visitors, our first responders um, who showed up to, to just get people out of the campgrounds because um, there was so much damage that it, it took people a while to even be able to leave the park.